The state of New Jersey is paying a $400,000 settlement to a former state trooper. He claimed that he was being harassed by a secret group of rogue officers known as the Lords of Discipline. The most important thing that I've ever done in my career, and I've investigated fatal accidents and homicides and child abuse and suicides and narcotics, but the most important thing I've ever done in my career was challenge the Lords of Discipline and to really be a catalyst for change. And I felt that that's how God wanted to use me. Uh, it was not easy. It was. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. When I went into the academy, um, I went in with the hopes and aspirations of helping people, protecting and serving. Well, unfortunately, with only 11 days on the job, I witnessed my training officer unlawfully arrest a 22-year-old girl for drunk driving. Problem was, she wasn't behind the wheel. In fact, she was in the back seat. Okay. Why don't you uh, turn around and put your hands behind your back for me? You're going to be under arrest for DWI. Oh, when I witnessed this, um, I had a rush of emotion. Um, a, the arrest was caught on videotape. B, um, I'm new, I'm a rookie. Do I speak up? Do I shut up? Um, and C, I need to do what's right. I need to do what's constitutional. I said, sir, you had no right to arrest the female, and I will not testify in court to support the arrest. Once that got around the state police station that you know, Trooper Hobson, he doesn't have your back, um, the attitude of the fellow troopers that I worked with not only changed, but I encountered police corruption. The Lords of Discipline have been around for decades. I was physically assaulted. I was ostracized. My personal vehicle was vandalized. There were hate notes left around. My reports were stolen. Uh, I would receive prank telephone calls at ridiculous hours I feared for my safety. I wasn't sure if I was going to get back up on a car stop. I became paranoid. I secured a handgun within arm's reach at all times. My dream job became my worst nightmare. The lawsuit lasted five years. Five years of battling in and out of court against the state police. And there were some days where I, I felt that God wasn't there for me. I would question, hey, you know, here I did something uh, that you would be proud of and something that I needed to do, but I feel hopeless, you know? God, where are you? I stood for integrity. I believe that the challenge of integrity is, it's hard. You can't rely on someone else to do it. You have to make the difference. You have to stand up because if you don't, no one else will. That's what the world is waiting for. The world is waiting for just one person, just like you, just like me, to stand up and act with integrity.